What do you get when you mix John Wick, Rambo, and a surprising amount of Violent Night? You get one of the most violent action movies I've seen since, well, John Wick 4. Hey everybody, Anthony here from Awesome Anthony Productions, and today I'm going to give you my review of Sisu. And no, I'm not talking about the dragon from Raya and the Last Dragon. But before we get started, you know exactly what to do. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year, and with your help, I can definitely do it. Sisu gives us the story of Atami, played by Jorma Tami, a Finnish prospector that finally strikes gold during the last days of World War II. Before some Nazis, led by the sadistic and power-hungry Bruno Heldorf, played by Axel Henny, show up to take it for themselves igniting an hour and a half of visceral, exciting carnage that took my breath away and left me wanting more. Now I want more. There's not really much else to say in the way of plot here. Like the John Wick films, well, at least the original, there's only the bare minimum to get the action started here, and that's totally fine. What I told you is pretty much the story, aside from a small subplot about women that are being kidnapped by the Nazis. So, yeah. But if I could describe this movie in one word, it would definitely be hardcore. Just... So hardcore. And if you saw the Red Band trailer for this before John Wick 4 like I did, that won't be a big surprise to you. Damn! Speaking of John Wick, if you're going into this thinking it's basically the exact same movie just set in Nazi-occupied Finland in 1944, well, you'd be dead wrong. John Wick takes a sleeker, more stylized approach to his bloody violence, throwing hordes of guys at Keanu as we watch him fight them off one by one, and take them all down in long, continuously shot and incredibly choreographed fight scenes, while occasionally giving us a glimpse of gore or shockingly violent imagery. Mostly it just kept things bloody. This one flips that script right on its head, giving us a grimy hero and an intense, visceral, grounded action scenes, while our hero revels in finding the most brutal ways to take down the Nazis. Almost like he's trying to outdo himself with each one. That was really violent. And I really have to give it up to the team behind this project for making sure that he stayed a stoic badass throughout the entire movie. Badass, badass, yeah, badass, badass, badass! Atami is never whining or crying. He's never getting distracted or forgetting his goal. He doesn't make stupid mistakes. And he's actually very ingenious with the way that he escapes these Nazis, survives their attacks, ambushes them and attacks them back. I also really appreciate the fact that this took a note from John Wick's book and made him a pretty quiet protagonist. More interested in staying quiet and kicking ass rather than monologuing to these sadistic soldiers who don't deserve that anyways. Shut up and fight! That really adds to the whole legend factor here. Another thing that's kind of like John Wick, as we see Nazis discussing Atami and his military past and getting more and more frightened and desperate as they learn more about this unstoppable killing machine that they just decided to fuck with. Do you really believe that he's immortal? No, he just refuses to die. And even though everybody sees him as a legend and he definitely embodies the title of this movie, I'll get to that in a minute, Atami is not just a perfect hero that takes no damage. He gets fucked up in this movie, but never to the point where it's totally unrealistic when he gets back up. Just a flesh wound making him even more of a grounded hero that you love to root for because you see him get his ass kicked quite a few times here. Now speaking of the title of this movie and how I said he embodies it, Sisu is a term that originates in Finland that is used to describe the tenacity and stoic determination to complete your goal no matter what. And that's exactly what this movie boils down to with our main character. Throughout Sisu's runtime, Atami fully embodies this term, as I said before, and between the effectively sadistic Nazis easy to hate as Nazis usually are, who make fantastic villain with the straight up gnarly ways that he dispatches them, Atami is really a force to be reckoned with. And when this is mixed with the fantastic practical effects and the commitment to showing the realistic, detailed, gory aftermath of one of Atami's attacks, combined with certain heroic acts that he does later in the film, this is really just an exciting, incredibly well-crafted love letter to exploitation films from the 70s and 80s. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! But it does it in fun and inventive ways, particularly in its action scenes and the way it revels in being as grounded and visceral as possible. And not just its violence and characters, but its scenery as well, which is captured in beautiful and dynamic ways thanks to the cinematography on display here. Oh, and all the blood and gore effects are practical, so. Shit, that's all you had to say! I really don't have any complaints or really anything else to say at this point. This is a fucking roller coaster ride of an incredibly grounded, realistic, and gory action movie that flies in the face of modern Hollywood blockbusters, with a believable and sympathetic yet brutal and completely badass stoic hero. A simple story that sets the stage for almost non-stop 
jaw-dropping, brutal action, and a group of sadistic Nazi villains that you absolutely love to hate. And one more thing, the movie's pretty funny too if you can see the dark humor here, which I definitely could. So that's my review of Sisu, one of the best action movies of the year considering we're only halfway through May right now. If you like this review, please leave me a like below and comment with your thoughts. And while you're at it, you can subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss any of my new content. I'm at about 575 subscribers right now, and I think I can get to 1,000 by the end of the year as long as you guys help me out, which I always appreciate. Lastly, you can find the links to my socials in the description below, or you can click right here to go to my review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, or just over to my channel where you can check out my reviews, my shorts, and my old shit. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next one.